Hey science fans, welcome to Starfax's new video. Ever wonder how magnets stick to your fridge? Magnets are all around us, from the compass that guides explorers to the speakers that blast our favorite tunes. These little wonders rely on an invisible force, magnetism, that can attract certain metals like iron. But what makes a magnet a magnet? Let's dive in and find out. To understand magnets, we need to zoom in on atoms, the tiny building blocks of everything around us. Each atom has electrons, which are like mini planets spinning around a nucleus. These spinning electrons create tiny magnetic fields. In most materials, these fields point in random directions, cancelling each other out. But in magnets, something special happens. Inside a magnet, groups of atoms line up in the same direction. These groups, called magnetic domains, act like tiny magnets themselves. When most of the domains point the same way, their magnetic fields combine to create a strong magnetic force that we can observe. Pretty neat, huh? Now, let's crank up the heat. Remember those nicely aligned atoms in our magnet? Well, heat is a form of energy that makes atoms vibrate faster. As the temperature rises, the atoms jiggle around more and more. This increased motion disrupts the orderly arrangement of the magnetic domains. Imagine a group of dancers all moving in sync. Suddenly someone cranks up the music and everyone starts dancing wildly. The synchronized movements fall apart. Similarly, heat throws the aligned atoms into disarray, weakening the overall magnetic force. The Curie temperature, where magnets meet their match. For every magnetic material, there's a critical temperature where the heat's disruptive dance becomes too much for the magnet to handle. This temperature is called the Curie temperature, named after the brilliant physicist Pierre Curie. Above the Curie temperature, a magnet loses its permanent magnetism. Think of it like melting ice. Ice is just frozen water, but heated up past zero degrees Celsius, or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and it melts into liquid water. Similarly, heating a magnet past its Curie temperature disrupts the atomic alignment, turning it into a non-magnetic material. For example, iron, a common magnetic material, has a Curie temperature of 770 degrees Celsius, or 1418 degrees Fahrenheit. Seeing is believing a hot experiment. Want to see the Curie temperature in action? Here's a, a simple experiment. Take a paperclip and a strong magnet. The magnet should easily pick up the paperclip. Now heat the magnet using a stove or a Bunsen burner with adult supervision, of course. As the magnet gets hotter, try to pick up the paperclip. What happens? You'll notice that as the magnet's temperature rises, it gradually loses its ability to attract the paperclip. Eventually, when the magnet reaches its Curie temperature, it completely loses its magnetism and can no longer hold on to the paperclip. It's like the magnet forgot how to be a magnet. Magnets, in the hot seat real world consequences. Understanding the effects of heat on magnets is crucial in many real world applications. For instance, electric motors rely on magnets to convert electrical energy into mechanical energy. If the motor gets too hot, the magnets can lose their strength, reducing the motor's efficiency or even causing it to fail. Similarly, data storage devices like hard drives use tiny magnets to store information. Exposing these devices to high temperatures can erase data or damage the drive. That's why it's important to keep your electronic devices cool and avoid exposing them to extreme heat. Keep it cool, protecting your magnets. So remember, heat can be a magnet's worst enemy. To keep your magnets strong and working their best, store them in cool, dry places. Avoid exposing them to direct sunlight, heaters or other sources of heat. And always handle magnets with care to avoid dropping or damaging them. By understanding the science behind magnets and their sensitivity to heat, we can use these amazing tools safely and effectively in countless applications. Thanks for watching. Subscribe this channel. Like, comment and share this video. Keep exploring the world of science and stay curious.